Welcome back to another episode of Spiro Stories. Today I wanted to share a story about that one friend that you have that you take out for their first time somewhere and they just spear an awesome fish for that first time. The sort of fish that you've been trying for for years. Well anyways, this morning we were shore diving, which is something we can only really do over winter on the Sunshine Coast. And we were immediately greeted with some absolutely beautiful clean water right off the shore and the ocean was just flat like a lake. It was really shaping up to be an awesome morning. Oh yeah, was it a black spot? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. At this point here, we're about halfway out to the offshore pinnacle and I spotted this anchor down on the bottom and I could hear it rattling around and I dove down to have a look at it and when I looked up I noticed this cheeky little barracuda swimming past and because I hadn't even really seen any fish until that point I just couldn't help myself I thought maybe we can use it for burley hey guys I shot a barracuda I, I never used to worry about them, but so many people have yeah, told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see it have a go at you before? Yeah, at my feet. It bit yeah. my feet. <laughs> Try hang on to my float, see if I can see him. Uh, he could be like right there, but you wouldn't even. <laughs> Oi, Dylan! Can you see him? No. He's behind me, and I didn't really realise he was gone until about a few minutes ago. What do you want to do? You want to head in and then... Um, Jonas, let's just turn with the sun a little bit. Okay, yeah, let's... Then, um, yeah. So head back. Yeah. So at this stage we decided that the safest thing to do would be to head back in. Hopefully we'd bump into him on the way and if we didn't we could jump up on the rocks and we could have a look out and hopefully see him because when we were looking back towards shore we couldn't see anything with that low sunlight. And I have to say, as I was swimming back, I was not in a good place. You know, I was thinking, have I lost this person? Like, this is his first time coming out with me and have I left him offshore? And I was really starting to worry. One eternity later. Luckily, when we got to the shore, we saw this beautiful face and uh, everyone was feeling great. So we decided to jump back in and just have a little scratch around inshore where the conditions weren't so rough. So after about an hour of not really seeing too much, I come around the corner, smack bang into this school of beautiful jewfish, and what do I do? Well, of course I miss the easy shot, because, you know, it's too easy, right? Anyways, while this is all happening, I hear a bit of a commotion and I look over and I see Dylan holding up his first ever Jewfish. And a beauty at that too. Now unfortunately he wasn't wearing a GoPro at the time, but I've included some awesome footage from my brother to give you an idea of what the experience was like. Let's take a look.
<laughs> oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that the Barracuda got eaten by a shark whilst Dylan was swimming back in by himself. Anyways. Okay guys, that about wraps this one up. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. As always, please remember to not like and subscribe and have an awesome day. But seriously, like and subscribe. Ciao!